Hey guys, Justice Curry with you. I am at the Geek Stuff Garage Sale all the way up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So north of Kalamazoo, I'll show you on the map later. But it's really, really neat outdoor event um, full of collectibles, toys, my kind of stuff. I'll show you my haul at the end of this because I ran around like a chicken with the, my head cut off. It don't matter, they took out my heart. When I sit back in my chair and check out He-Man to be like him, I wonder how it would be, man. To go back to a kid, I wonder how it would feel, man. To have Joes and Mo too. Keep it real, man. I reminisce on days when I played and days, days in the haze. Is but I wanted to start off with the founding member with his booth right here, the founding member, the man himself, Mr. Joe. How are you, sir? I am well. I, well, thank you for inviting us over here. <laughs> the weather held up perfectly. This is beautiful weather. After the tornadoes, we get this. Thank I know. You. It was raining so hard yesterday, and I was worried that this was going not going to mm -hmm. be a thing. And I'm like, please, please, I want to be here. Even last night, the wind was bad, but no, it cooperated. The yes. sun is out. It was beautiful. Absolutely. So it's 2019. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, 2011 was our first year. Yeah. So there's debate on whether this is the eighth year or the ninth year. I call it the ninth. Right, you know, right. My, my son's eight, and he was in. He was at the first geek sale in my driveway with a bunch of friends and a baby. Jumper. In your garage sale. That's yeah. Awesome. But it, it's people said, hey, this was cool. Do it again next year, and yep. and uh, you, you know the right people. And the guy says, let's do it in front of my comic store. All yeah. right. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yeah. And then it just kind of took off from there. And we went from like having four vendors to eight to 50 yep. vendors here. That's uh, awesome. And this was one of the first toy shows that I ever went to. Awesome. Good, maybe seven, six years ago. I didn't know that. Yeah, in Grand Rapids. Before I knew any of the guys, wow. I was here. And uh, yeah, can you show me a little bit of stuff that you got? Yeah. Is this just your parts of your extra collection? Or? Yeah, a lot of these are uh, impulse purchases. Ah. Oh, I want this now. Well, no, maybe not. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, but, so uh, uh, I know you're real big into video games I remember going to your house years ago yeah and getting some of your video games which were epic epic collection and I kept the good stuff you did keep the good <laughs> stuff you did keep the good stuff so we got kind of a hodgepodge my I've been eyeing this Ninja Turtles you know that uh, the toys that made us is gonna do a Ninja Turtles I saw episode. That episode I'm super excited oh yes yes that next season. I know it's gonna be great well thank you sir for uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go around and, and talk to some more people. Enjoy. Thanks a lot. We'll see ya. See ya. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day. All right. I was eyeballing this because I remember it when I was a little kid. I really want that. You got, you know, some '90s Star Wars when everyone thought they were gonna be worth so so much, um, but everyone collected them, so not so much. Comics, books. Not really my wheelhouse. I love video games. I love vintage toys. Um, this this booth is packed full of um, Nintendo games. With here's some of the high end ones. Some really really cool box stuff. Uh, Final Fantasy, Zelda, my personal favorite, Ninja Gaiden. All sorts of there's some toys, Mighty Max, some He-Man down there, and then all all sorts. We kind of scan around, show you what we're dealing with. People are packed here. I'm loving it. Really, really neat. Um, one of the favorites of my last video people kept going that Halloween Jack. Did you watch the last video you yes, were in? Yes, I did, man. It was good to see myself. Yes, Thank you. you you should watch some of the comments or read them because there is a few that uh, people were loving on. You go, man, that Halloween Jack is awesome. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm, I'm low key today. Yeah, yeah, you're not Halloween Jack. You're just. Well, today I'm just Sam. But Sam. You know, I'm, still, I'm still Halloween Jack. I got <laughs> Halloween Jack stuff. Yes. Just, I kind of left him at home. It was <laughs> early, early to get here. Today. I get it. I get it. Oh, he does. <laughs> But he'll be back at Toy Haven next weekend. Well, I'll hopefully see you there. Yeah, take care. Take care, man. Oh, what, Justice? Yes. Oh, no. But wait, there's more. Oh, He Man Motu Masters of the Universe. That's the acronym that we uh, commonly use. I found oh, a blue wing stratum. Wow. In excellent shape, too. That is very, very nice shape. Good price. And, uh, the one I'm personally looking for is the Blue Beard, if anybody comes across it. Uh, the accessory packs. This is the accessory pack ones for Beast Man, but still, an ac I love the color combination. That is so, so cool, man. Look at all these 
He-Man. Just bountiful. Bountiful. Ooh. All right, we're gonna keep walking around. Take care, buddy. Take care. See ya. Well, I'm kind of bundling together. All sorts of people looking at the different wares around. Some Power Rangers. Um, some pop culture, Japanese, Pokemon-esque things. Let me make sure my son's okay. Yeah, he is. Uh, more video games. Joe Ryan, the founder, is known for his passion and love for video games. So he's part of the video game community. And video game vintage toys kind of go hand in hand. I mean, if you like one, you probably grew up with the other. Um, some more, I won't bust through this booth. Some modern toys over there. Some Legos. There's a really, really cool Lego set. Um, I was halfway tempted to buy this Deadpool costume, and I still might. You never know. Um, it's Hi, gentlemen, gentlemen, how are ya? Hello, hello. Some neat Halo memorabilia. Oh, you want it. Oh, I do. But the problem is, where am I gonna put it? I'm already limited in the space in my own collection room, so if I have to buy something, I have to get rid of something. In my living room. Yes! You don't know my wife. She would actually murder me. Let's and you'd see. <laughs> yeah, just hide it. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that before. Yes, people will share that on Facebook and have OD and said, share. No! I like it, I like it. Take care guys. Um, some really, really neat toys. This whole booth is filled with Star Trek stuff. Um, this is a super, super nice booth. As you can see, there's a G.I. Joe Terradrome over there. Some plush figures. People are jam packed looking for the deals. And the deals are everywhere. Um, fairly priced. Oh, the Night Raven, the Cobra. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. That's ah, always missing that. Gosh dang it. That's still cool, man. Right. Because all the missiles are. Ooh. It has. I might have to talk to you about this. It has the steering wheels. Ooh. Oh, a sorceress. With her staff, $60. Oh my gosh, I haven't looked around this booth too much yet. I know my friend Stephen Bashadi already picked up a Terror Claws Skeletor. I'm gonna have to revisit this, I might want a stinger. Um, I have not, I've gotten one of these loose before, the Talon Fighter model kit. It's way different than the production toy of the Talon Fighter. Oh gosh, I heard something. Molar Skeletor. Hurricane Hordak Titus. Nice. Some games, some memorabilia. Um, McDonald esque looking. Oh, another. What is this bin? The $20 for Panthor. It's good filth. The tent manager right there. Yep. Look around, some Star Wars. It is packed. This is good, man. Keeping the hobby alive. And my son has been wandering around with me this entire time. This guy's got a good booth. I forgot to come back to this booth. I'll be right back with you. Alright, continuing the tour, I wanted to check out what he had over here. Um, I did see this Xenomorph, which is only $8. That's pretty good. This is 1991 version. Uh, more desirable ones, obviously, the vintage version. But this guy's got some excellent, excellent stuff. I've already bought several pieces. Um, just some really, really cool lines and obscure things. Uh, noticeably, they're noticeable. Like, um... OMGF, which are muscle man type things, some He-Man classics, some cool bootleg type uh, robots, like Power Ranger-esque, uh, collectible board games, books, comics, you name it, this guy's got it. I'm gonna keep going around. 
I have to keep following me around. Uh oh. We got a Mo2 Joe sighting. How are you, yeah, sir? What's up? Not much, man. What do you? Oh, you found a Doomsday? Yeah. Which version is this? This came for with an Imagine. I think it came with Imagine X. Or Dude, something. I love Doomsday. He is such a cool character. What did you have on on this box here? That's not mine. Okay. He's the end with Menard Okay, no worries. Yeah, I know. I saw that Panthor. I went, man. All right, I'm gonna... You've already been here. What's left? Ah, there's tons, man. I have barely touched it all. Yeah, Terradrome's neat. Some of these prices are not too uh, too bad. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at he only had 30 on this. Yeah. I thought about it coming back to it. I mean, the bottom's broken, obviously, but... I know. Every time. Are we all set? Yeah. All right, scanning through this. Uh, I want to keep going and show you pretty much everything we got here. Uh, some neat blankets people make, sell their wares, um, comics, obscure, odds and ends, Legos, Legos, Legos. How are you, sir? Good, good, good. Um, Mythic Legions. Almost knocked down Elsa. Sorry, Elsa. Lots and lots of Mythic Legions. Not Mythic Legions. What am I talking about? Um, ooh. Wow. That's neat. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, Groot. Nice. No idea why I call Marvel Legends Mythic Legions, but when you're talking non-stop, you have brain farts. Love the art. Oh. Wow, that's cool. Some more comic art, pop art. Um, I wanted to show you this thing over here. Godzilla. Look at that. $700. I didn't recognize it at first, but it's Clo Cloverfield, the movie, and must have been a super limited release if it's that expensive. Um, neat Godzilla, girl Barbie toys, kids toys, McDonald's toys. Um, there's a really neat miscellaneous 50 cent bin that I went through over here and was pulling out Vintage Battle Beast, the Muscle Man and stuff for 50 cents. It's just unheard of. Okay. There's Gavin. Oh, yeah. Um, some other neat toys here, there, everywhere. I've always been half tempted to get this from the Matrix, but never pulled the trigger just because it's so large. Starting lineups. Oh, wow. Really, really cool things. People are packed here. I'm loving the atmosphere, the crowd. That was a good bins over there as well. Like that means anything for you. Um, cool display case, even though it's probably fine writing instruments. Hello, good sir. How are you? I am a okay. Yeah, you know, I'm just kind of hiding, wearing disguises. You know, I don't come all the time either. How right. Good to see you. Right. Is this your booth? This is mine. Oh, cool, cool. Filer flying solo. Yeah, yeah. Kind of solo. I picked up a partner along the way. Nice, so nice. He's not here right now, but. Oh, okay. So we figured we'd uh, we'd start with some heavy Star Wars for garage sale pricing. Mm-hmm. Working some custom blast effects and some oh, transformers. Oh, what is this? Now this is done by an artist by the name of Grimlock's Forge. Okay. So, and what he's doing is he's providing blast effects that you can't get on the market. Oh, like these? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so these are these are from specifically the Siege line from the Transformers. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. beautiful. So he's casting in a clear resin. Yep. The dyes, everything he can. Wow. And as he comes up with ideas or people feed him. Ideas. Custom stuff, and he's also doing weapons. Wow! Ooh. And these That's are cool. basically his ideas that he's brought into reality. I love seeing that, man. I love seeing people's passion and art, you know, transcending and breaking into our world with toys as well. 
that's fantastic. And this is what toys are. Yes. It's yeah. art yes. into reality. Absolutely. Our well, childhood come to life. Yep, yep. All right, brother. Thanks, man. You take Good it easy. Ya. Keep on moving. Got some neat pop culture, artwork, more video games, board games. Um, whoa, I didn't realize they made ginormous pops. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. The Beanie Babies of our era. That's what I'll commonly refer to them as. Um, looking at some, oh my gosh, I did not know they made this. That is hilarious. Stranger Things, Dustin Chia Pet. Oh, look at this. Oh, I remember this. Wow. Ooh, I don't know if I have that one. Love it, love it. Oh man, that's so cool. Look at this. No, I haven't looked. I just looked at vintage. Whoa. Wow, wow, wow. Seldom get to see things of this caliber. Wow. Very neat. World of fandom. Blade. Books. Let's go sneak up on these guys. Hey! How are you doing, buddy? Doing fantastic. How are you? Not bad. We getting ready to podcast? We did, but you left. Oh, we did already? You interviewed my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for babysitting. I'll give yeah, you yeah. I'll give you the five dollars. <laughs> so we got the podcast gear set up for my wife is gonna kill me. What time are you seriously thinking about doing it? Podcasting? Yeah. Not an off all day. Alright. You're ready, we'll, we'll get you in here, buddy. Alright, sounds good. What can you tell me uh, this little treasure? Yeah. Tell me the story. That's a one of a kind prototype. Yep. Of, uh, I knew it, it looked familiar. Well oh, you stole it from me. Huh? You stole that from me. What are you talking about? It's uh, stuff you walk out of here with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Terra Claw Skeletor. It's one of the uh, last, like, three figures I need to complete my loose vintage line. Oh, wow. So, I mean, American release. Yep, yep. Yeah. So. Well, you got Titus now, don't you? Oh, yeah, Megator. Megator, that's right. So you still need the lasers and... I only need one laser. Ah. Uh, you got... Skeletor? Yes. Wow. You were telling me something earlier about this, about the clip on the back. Can you elaborate? It's a rare, it's hard to find. Yep. These clips. Yeah, absolutely. They um, break. People don't think they're He Man, they throw them away. And uh, it doesn't look like He Man. It no, it doesn't look, look like, like anything. anything. You'd see that in the bottom of a cardboard box full of junk toys and go throw away. You would do that so quickly. I bet I've thrown one away. I'm sure you have. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is, this is uh, both. Like both, both uh, Terra Claw and uh, Flying Fist He Man have this. The same kind of clip. Same kind of clip. But you're back. saying it didn't fit in there properly. This one doesn't, but I suspect that the Flying Fist and the Terra Claw are slightly yeah. different. Yep. That's my suspect. I'm not positive on that. You know, you have any info on that, Motu Joe? I believe they're the same. I believe they're the could, same. Could, could, you could have a different country of origin. Yeah. Just force it. Let's see if it breaks. Come on. Just force it. Push it in before. there. <laughs> put it put it in the freezer first and then the freezer, they're, yeah, they're more that pliable. makes them pliable. Plastic is always more pliable cold. Absolutely. So, yeah, Everyone I, I knows that. I tend to like to open up fragile toys after they come out of the freezer. Joe, you find some good stuff in there? Come on, let's try it. It doesn't fit. It, it's, 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 maybe it was upside down. I think I'm not enough smart enough to, to try it. Well, that's very possible. You've tried both ways many times in the past. Uh, that's struggling like that. I like the, uh, um, steam goes both ways. <laughs> battle bone seal. Yeah. Which, mine is, that's one that I've looked See, it, possibly it just doesn't clip in. Like, it's... It's because the clips are maybe broken. No, the clips don't look broken to me. I don't think that the back on on tear on flying fist is shaped the same. So yeah, I don't he doesn't know. have this half shirt. Yeah, that ain't fitting in properly. You're, oh, really? you're exactly right. Oh, is that what you came? Well, with, uh, I <laughs> that's, what, that's my conclusion. You know, that's why you're such an expert. 
and we're just gonna walk away from this hostile guest. Unfortunately, I run into them every so often. You are who you are, man. That's why I am who I am. What are you doing, buddy? You having fun? Did you see your uh No. I see. What are you talking about? Oh. Now, which booth? Point me Come on. Right way. I'll just point you there. All right. I'm, I'm just going to drop you off because you're going to salivate. Yeah. How did I miss this? Handmade beauty. Oh, a stuffed animal. Handmade plush, isn't it? I've seen people do that before, but I've never. Oh, my God. The back. Oh, my gosh. I walked right. Thank you, Motu Joe. Oh, hello. How did I miss this? Falcor. The, the luck dragon from Never Ending Story. What a beautiful piece of art. So this must be Moondust Cottage Fiber Art Candle and Bath. Wow. And, no, that's not the bath from Never Ending Story. Unless he has, no. Wow. I need to figure out how much that is. 40 bucks for the unicorn, so I'm guessing Falcor is going to be a little expensive. I'll check it in a little while. Wow. Let's go over here. Stay close, buddy. What? What, what is that? A doggy and a puppy? Cool. We'll keep checking it out, okay? Some really, really neat stuff. Some handmade stuff. So let's go into this booth. It's a guy you want to rush? Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I am a okay. Take me through this booth of your fine this wares. Is, this is just a lot of loose stuff. We just had Indy two weeks ago, and I was not about to. to Oh. Bring all the stuff, so I just threw all the loose stuff together. Oh, your Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends, Star Wars, Transformers, a little bit of G.I. Joe, some pops. Some pops? Pops that I've had. That's what you're known for, your yeah, pops. Right. <laughs> Ooh, so I, I have like a few that. pieces sealed, but for the most part, it's all loose this weekend. Yep, some build a figures down there. Yep. Wow. Yep. <laughs> and then, this is super coveted. These Star Trek, everyone's looking for these things, all right? Blow them out. Yeah. <laughs> 50 cents a piece. <laughs> Almost, he says. Well, cool, thank you. Where's your uh, heterosexual life mate, Jason? Uh, um, he is at Taekwondo, actually. He is. He's getting his, his karate on. His daughter is. Ja you know, Jason. Jason. No. <laughs> Dude, a bionic man. He couldn't get nothing. Else right, that, so. right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, my buddy. All right, well, I'm gonna check out Ben's group right here. Ben's known for his Transformers. And yes, he can take debit and credit cards. Wow. So so cool. X Files. I barely knew the guy. Um, but we were just like, hey, I'm wondering if this is the mat. Yeah, it's the Matchbox version. And we had maybe I've never seen a question mark price point, tag before. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Nice. Some just miscellaneous. All the primal age things. Some more Marvel Legends. <laughs> All right, so check out the Geek Stuff garage sale. I'll put a link down in the description. Take care. Bye-bye. I know you like that. Um, I have queued up on my computer right now an episode for My Wife is Gonna Kill Me. I won't make you listen to the whole episode. They are awesome. Actually, they're not. Never listen to them ever again. But there will be a link in my description. They love to rag on me. They're my buddies. But freaking since I put myself out there publicly constantly, there's a lot of content to pick and pull and prod and make fun of you know their listeners think i'm the devil which is fine and they make memes of me and i love it because negative attention is better than no attention at all but someone a few people reached out to me and said hey you gotta listen to this podcast they tear you a new one because of the geek garage sale there's a little bit of 
flare up during that. One of our friends was kind of butt hurt that I came in early and was taking some of the deals before the free show started. There's, there's always going to be personality conflicts and not everyone likes Justice Curry and that's fine. If, if I'm not your style, that's totally fine. I try to appease everybody the best I can, but sometimes my personality can, or the things I do, is not for everybody. And that's okay. We're all different and that's what the spice of life is about. So we're going to gauge my reaction on my wife is going to kill me. It's probably going to hurt. And without further ado, episode 152, my wife is going to kill me. Yes. Like what? Um, I witnessed uh, Joe talking to a couple shoppers who were um, starting at 11. A couple hours early. And set up for the show is 8 to 10. Show opens at 10. They actually had a line of people waiting to get in. But of course, a few shoppers happened to make their way into the flea market area before the show was actually open. There was people that are. They had the audacity to just walk around the line. Did they? Did they show up and like pretend to be a vendor? Well, let's in be order honest. to get this exclusive access. Let's be honest. Steve was one of them. Did they lie? No, I was with. A, I was he, with Travis. I was one of his employees. He, you set up. I I saw the picture of all the mythic legions he set up. Great job, by the way. Yeah. Jim says, "Fuck you." Oh, <laughs> language. Sorry. I'll so, try to edit so that out this, later. This is the problem. You know, we we have worked very very hard in. Uh, in our time ruthless. in the world of cons, in the world of, of buying and selling and trading, um, to to let everybody know that this is an honest gig. And we, we go out of our way to make sure that we do the right thing, morally, ethically. And then we work so hard to build this community up. We have somebody like that who sneaks into a free show under false pretenses to try and get the best deals for himself. And it sets us back. It sets us back years. Because we, again, we have prided ourselves on our honesty and our integrity. And then somebody goes and does this. And that, that bothers me, like I said, it's, it, it, it knocks down the house of cards that we've worked so hard to build. Yes, um, I do see this as a minor issue. Um, I mean, let's be honest, I have bought tables at shows just so I can shop it early. And then I set up 15 items yeah. on that table. And, and that's yeah, what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to put a card table with but some McDonald's toys. Yes. You set up a booth. Yes. Therein lies the difference. Yes. And I, and I totally put agree. Put $100 um, a piece on all of them and just leave the now, table. Now, like I said, Stephen. put honor system and put a little jar with money. This yesterday. He was working in my booth. Right. He did take some money from some people. Um, he babysat um, Justin's kid. Um yeah, for what, a couple hours. Anybody? anybody couple hours. Shoppers? I never was really told that that was what I was supposed to do. No, that never. That conversation never happened. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. It happened happen. organically. It's interesting how if if a young child is just mysteriously left, most people will try to keep it alive. Right. Yeah. It's, it's human instinct. Yeah. They say it takes a village, and sometimes it does, especially if your dad is constantly dropping you off in somebody else's village. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then going to visit other villages uh, to pillage other I villages. I left my son to with the phone pillaging. sitting in a chair next to Stephen because uh, Stephen was tending Travis's I mean, did booth. This person, did this person get any screaming great deals in the hour and a half? We haven't even really talked about who the person is. Well, I, I can tell you his name rhymes with <laughs> Smustus Burry. <laughs> Smustus Burry. I can tell you that. Uh, well, so I, I've, I've known Smustus for a long time. Um... <laughs> Did did Smustis get in and get did did it get anything that like other people would have been after? Like did he did he rob anybody who legitimately should have been there? Yeah, for almost some loose certainly. muscle oh, men and yeah, some he, loose he, no he weapons. He told me he filmed you know, the vehicle. But well, see, that's the problem. Where's the Smustis in that? You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no Smustis for the good people that do that kind of thing. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, and that that is also part of the problem. As Justice is walking, who's that? Uh, <laughs> as he's walking through, away from, as he's as as Smustis is walking away <laughs> from his daughter Candy, uh, just 
hey, keep her alive, I'll be right back, and then goes and buys all the shit that you wanted to buy. No, it, was, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't the daughter candy. Mm-hmm. Oh, it okay, was, it was the, Buxton? It was the son Buxton? Yes, it was Buxton. <laughs> Busted. So as Mustis is walking away with like armloads of toys, he's walking past his vendor friends and saying, "I got all this for thirty-five dollars, and I gave something Busted. to Stephen for Smuckness. free." I are they gonna bring that what up? Kind of example is he give him a man Busted. at arms? You know, Bustin. I'm raising Bustin. Right, that's true. It's no big that's deal. True. You know, raising Bustin. Bustin's gonna be able to tear off a bra with the best of them. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't teach him how to wipe. I do have to say that kid really wasn't hard to look after because he just sat there and played on that little iPad thing. Oh, Justin's phone. Mustin's phone, I guess. <laughs> Mustin's phone. <laughs> These dudes are relentless. Uh, the moral of the story is, Smustin's is a piece of shit. So, you know, it's hard. I mean, we'll see what happens. But I think it wouldn't surprise me if they try and figure out a way to tighten up security. I mean... Tighten up security. All because of Smustis. At an yeah, outdoor well, free show. He wasn't the mall. Yeah, but Smustis is the only one that I'll call by not his name. So. <laughs> uh, Should have helped Travis others? move a box. We're going to name drop some others? No. No? no. Okay. Um, it was interesting that um, there was at one point I felt like I was babysitting um, Boston and Steven. Uh, but Why? What did Steven do? He's just Steven. Was he, was he trying to get short range to touch his cock? <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't in front of Boston. Oh, that was uh, that that wasn't. I didn't. I, I did that when we were alone. Whoa. Okay. I'm sorry. This has to be addressed right now. What kind of person hears Stephen and his proponents for small hands, and then leaves their son in the booth with him? I've never heard I'm that. Just, I'm not saying. I'm just, Boston doesn't podcast. listen to the show unless yes. he's on it. And even when he's on it, I think sometimes. <laughs> <It's Mustin. laughs> Smustis. 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 Sorry. Smustis. 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 Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's interesting. And, and Pete, you're a promoter. I'm a promoter. You have a show. I have a show. How do you feel about this? You know, oh, it's just. And even worse, you have a show where people are paying to get in. Right. And if you, I mean, if you, and that's the thing is you don't, you don't get in early unless you have a badge at my show. Um, but we have, but, but it's a controlled of, situation. Exactly. We're, we're, it's a, there's one in, there's, there's one in, there's one out and you know, it would be in inside, but that's, you know, that's part well, of Pete the reason. And Matthew First and foremost, Rodriguez it's very don't care important if I come to Joe and Ben who run this show that it's free for everybody. And they've made that abundantly clear that this is this needs to be free for vendors, free for people to go. The Geek Rod sale free. is free. It's a good And show. I applaud that. So there's not as much of a reason to, to have security because you're not worried about people stealing their admission by sneaking in. But because of lack of security, that does allow for other situations to occur. Um, it just it comes back to people doing the right thing. And we all know that... You know, there are some people that won't because whatever it is that they can accomplish is going to be more important than the greater good. So that certainly felt like a Stephen answer. Where well, it did. But you know, sometimes when you make those kind of choices, now you I get, know I, what you guys are talking about because I totally tuned out. Right. <laughs> sometimes, unfortunately, you make choices and it tips the scales of smustus. So. Uh, fun show, great, great little time. We had a good time. Hobby Lobby went with us, and it was fun. It was a fun time. Yeah, yeah. Chris Middle Camp, stuff, Hobby Lobby. A couple things. Um, I'm excited about one of the things that came out of this show was um, oh, this here? Brett Reedy. I like Brett. Yep. All right. So there's our review of where they massacre me and micromanage the little incident we had there at the Geek Garage sale. Yes, I went there early and the show promoter was not happy that I was there early because I wasn't a vendor, but I'm friends with the show promoters, so I didn't think that was an issue. But, you know, everyone's entitled to have their own kind of, uh, I don't know, sense of what's right and wrong. And I have to put out little drama fires here and there I have people picking at me constantly in the comments saying some horrible things or on Facebook trying to 
take me down. And some things are rightly so. Yeah, I'm not perfect. I am a flawed human being that makes bad decisions sometimes. But I do my best to, you know, do the right thing. And sometimes my right thing is different from other people's right thing. And then it turns a mountain into a molehill. So, molehill into a mountain. So enough of me blabbering on. Check out my wife is going to kill me if you want some more justice dirt. And But in all honesty, I mean, their, their show is like an hour and a half. And they talk about all sorts of things from comic book, pop culture, movie reviews, uh, new toys, thanks UPS man, toy drama, you name it, they talk about it. It's a great show, real good friends. So I love you all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Hey guys, Justice Curry. I know it's a little dark right here, but that's all right. It's gonna get a lot brighter in a moment. I promised you that I would show you some of my hauls. Hello, BB, how are you? Good. Um, and I'm super excited because it's hard to find things that I personally need these days. Um, like, obviously I have a full set of masters, but I like to have some on hand for when people reach out and go, hey Justin, you got X, Y, and Z? And I go, why, yes I do. So the Hiss 2, the Cobra Bug, Unfortunately, that snaps always, always broke. Um, I have super fond memories of playing Crossfire when I was a kid. My brother got that for birthday or Christmas, so I was able to pick up another Crossfire um, that we're gonna check out. Uh, Steven Bashotti, who um, that you saw featured in the video a little while ago, he got this boxed a year or two ago and I was all butt hurt and super jealous, but I was able to find one loose, which I'm excited to buy. I think it's maybe Imperial Toys or just one of those, nah, it's not uh, Sun Gold, one of those knockoff Motu-esque, no, 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 we're not open that. Um, something similar to this, like those um, knockoff, same vein Motu things. Uh, some of my favorite things. I found our muscle men. I love hoarding muscle men. I have way, way too many muscle men. Um, here's some of my extras, and I love my kids and I set them all up, and we'll have little battle scenes. Um, some Ninja Turtles. Super excited about some file cards, even though I got way too many. I just grab them when I can. Night Force are killer. Garbage Pail Kids, typically give these away for free when someone orders something from me. But I want to check these out. He told me this was like a, I don't know, a misprint. I haven't done any research on it yet. Um, so, you know, some of them are horrify or horrific and very bad taste. And then some are pretty funny. Um, Cobra Commander, the mail away, but primarily I needed that gun. Uh, Police Academy, Battle Beast. Freaking the Battle Beast, we're in that bin for a quarter or 50 cents, which is rocking. Another personal favorite uh, that I was ad able to snag is this large android body for Krang um, that I will put in with my Ninja Turtles. So Krang, hopefully he can fit. I have the smaller version um, in here. Please tell me I don't already have this big one. Nope, I don't the smaller versions someplace in there, but I'll fit him in and make a fun little battle scene. The kids knocked over some stuff already, but that's all right. Half the fun. Room is in disarray. Hello. Hey, can you go get the uh, Nin Ninja Turtle backpack that's upstairs? I want to show everyone that. Run, like a bunny. Hop, 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 hop. Um, Mauler tank from G.I. Joe. Uh, it's always missing the toe strap and the antennas, but to be unbroken, it's a nice find. Find uh, his tank, Serpentor with nothing. Uh, another thing that I kind of had to spend an arm and a leg for, but it was worth it to me because I want it for my translucent chandelier. Motu Joe recently went to PowerCon 2019. PowerCon's the uh, He-Man, like Comic-Con, that's just He-Man focus. Uh, and I didn't go, a bunch of my friends went, but this was an exclusive available at PowerCon. And I think it's from one of the, yeah, it's definitely from one of the mini comics where uh, He-Man gets Horde, fright, um, Slime Pit, 
slime on him and he becomes like a slave to Hordak. But yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna rip her open. Had to pen a pay a pretty penny for it, but that's a common theme with the exclusives. The most coveted thing in any collector's uh, arsenal is Smurfs. Yeah. <laughs> all right, brother. And, and I, I overuse the word brother all the time. I got it from my dad. Oh, wow, check that out. Uh, my dad uses brother a lot, and you know we are our parents in a lot of ways, so I adapted that. And Hulk Hogan got that signature phrase from my father, so. Sorry, yeah. Cam. Little odds and ends like mask, um, little minifigure for G.I. Joe that came with the late 80s Joes. And this um, is the I'm not different. sure what he is. Playmobil. Sky something maybe. I don't remember what those guys are called. But oh, here's the Ninja Turtle backpack. Really, really excited um, to finally get one of these. My cousin Johnny died tragically many years ago at the age of 18 and he was a good good man um, but I always envied him because he had this backpack and uh, he would rock that out you know all those years ago and I just said when I find one I am gonna pick one up so can you it has some storage space in there it's a backpack can you unzipper it there for me BB yep but I'm using it for my secret mission, so okay. mine this stuff. Oh, okay. Mine this stuff, okay? That's for the front pocket. Oh, really? And this is for video games, yep. which I like playing video So you're the one that left that on the other day. Okay. I didn't leave it on. It's fake. It's not fake. That works. You got to put a game in it. Let me use the game. Oh, okay. All right, we gotta say goodbye. This uh, also had some mask and whatnot. I'll put a picture later. We'll show you upstairs. All right, Geek Garage Sale. I'll have a link down in the description. Check it out. Can Make I sure it's a yearly camera? thing. You gotta go to it. Can I use your camera? Yeah, in another 10 years. Huh? Goodbye. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye. Hey guys, Justice Curry here with my mini-me. BB Curry, how are you doing? Good. We're about ready to play the wonderful 90s game, Crossfire, gotta get it in the Crossfire. I don't know if that's how the song went, but I remember being inundated by commercials growing up about Crossfire, and I wanted one so incredibly bad, and my brother got one uh, one Christmas, and now we are going to play it for the first time. You ready? No, let's no, no, leave the, them. No, 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 this like, doesn't look. No, 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 no. All right, so I'm going to be the spiral one. She's going to be the triangle one. The goal is to get hers. Let's put it right in the middle. So you're going to try to get this one yeah, into mine? Yeah, I'm on Oh, well, i got to be able to hit it. All right, so you got to aim for mine and mark, set, go. got to get in the crossfire. Oh, look who's going to win. going to be me. No, you there. You can't be cheating. Randy, no cheating allowed. Crossfire. Go. This is how she's like uh, the game of chess, Monopoly, just flipping it upside down. I mean, she's about ready to lose. All right. No more hitting it with your hand. Deal? Got it? All right. Let's see what happens. On your mark. We are not ready. Get set. Hey, stop. No, that's cheating. Oh, that's Maybe. cheating? That's cheating? Maybe. Just like you? Push. All right, you ready now? Let's do it. One, two, three, go. Oh, oh. Sorry. You can't keep hitting it with your hand. You said you would not do that. Hello, kids. You cannot hit it with your hands. That's disqualification. You play soccer with your hands? No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't get your hand. Oh, now she's tilting the whole board. You gotta get it in the crossfire. Crossfire. Oh man. Oh man. I'm gonna collect some more balls. Get some more balls. 
ready, set, and I'm gonna do it. Get him on! I won! Look at it! I'm not a loser pants! What? You tipped it! No, I didn't. Where's the rule that I can't tell? Hey, chill out. You're good. I love you. I'm cheating like you cheated. All right. On that note, we're gonna take off. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>